Hi, Janelle King here, and today I'm doing a really short video on how to use your MacBook Pro or your Mac computer using the Instant Alpha feature to eliminate background from an image that you've created by hand and then be able to drop it into a PowerPoint presentation or into a document and use it much like clip art. So the things that I'm going to be using are my MacBook Pro, the preview function, which we'll look at in just a moment, and then also an image editing software program. For me, I happen to use something called GIMP. It's free, it's open source, and it works great for me. So that's what we're going to be working with. We're going to start with a small scale image that I created by hand on a piece of paper, small piece of paper, and then scanned into my computer. If you're familiar with my good enough drawing tutorials, this is one that we're looking at that was published the other day. What we do is we open up the image file, right? It's a JPEG file to start, and we're previewing it. So we're going to have this nice little preview screen. And what we're looking for on our Mac, again, this is for Mac users, is the menu option here that's called Select. Now, if you open up an image and you don't see this full menu bar, you may see something over on the side that looks like two little arrows pointing to the right. If you click on that, you'll see an option to open um, sidebar and click, you know, click on that option, open sidebar, and you will have the full menu. So when you have the full menu, go to Select, click on that, and we're going to the Instant Alpha feature. Click on Instant Alpha. Now your arrow for your mouse has turned into crosshairs, and you can click and drag within your document to eliminate as much of or as little of the color that you've selected by hovering over it with the crosshairs. In this case, we've hovered over the white background, so it's selecting white. Um, when you let go of the click, it shows everything with the little crazy ant lines, meaning that it's been selected. Hit the delete button and it eliminates that color that's been selected from your background. And you can go in at this point and, you know, drill down and, you know, do a click and drag and eliminate this color. Um, you can also use, instead of the instant alpha, you can use a rectangular selection and say, I don't want this there anymore, and delete it. Um, it's a fairly flexible tool. So use it to the point that you want your document to look. When you're done, hit File, Save As. I'm not worrying about changing the name so much as changing the format because remember this original is a JPEG and what we're looking to do is save it as a PNG file or a ping file with that alpha box checked so that it preserves that clear background. If I save this as a JPEG file or a PDF file, what will happen is I will lose that nice clear background and it will convert it to white. So I'm hitting save here, and now you can see I've got a file that's popped up over here. There's no PNG at the end of it, so I know that's the one that I'm looking to use. If we go ahead and just open up my Keynote file, I can now drag and drop that PNG image, and it looks you know, like it's, it's clear on the back. Let's do a better example and drop it onto a colored background. So you can see, you know, you'd want to spend more time to clean up that image, but now you can see the color and texture behind it. That's the benefit of that PNG, and it's really easy to achieve using Instant Alpha. So let's take a look at a large-scale graphic recording um, that I created the other day. And sometimes if you have a large scale document, you may want to drill in and say, oh, I want to capture this one little piece and convert that into a, um, a clip art piece that I can drop into other documents. So I would go into my GIMP image editing software and open up that image. I'll go to desktop, oops, go to desktop, and I will go to challenging behavior. I will open that up. <laughs> it takes a minute. 
because my computer's a little tired. And I, it's a large file, so I'm only looking at this at 18%. So if I want to get really precise, I can you know, zoom in, uh, get really clear on where I want to select. Whoa! Let's select this part. So I'll go to Tools, Transform, Crop. Now I have the crop crosshairs, and I can just go ahead and grab that image. Just pull that up there, pull that this way, and we'll call that good enough. So once I have it selected, I hit the Enter key, it hits it. I'll hit File, Save As. It's saving it as a JPEG, and that's fine. I'll say Insert into for brain for the name, so I know what it is. I'll hit save. <laughs> I'll save it at 100% quality. All right, now I don't need to have this open anymore. And I've got this little close-up for inserting into the forebrain. I can double-click on that to open the image as a preview on my Mac. Again, I'm going to select going to Instant Alpha, clicking on the white space that I want to get rid of, dragging down, and see how it's eliminated some of the white in the head? If I go the opposite direction from which I started when I was dragging, I can reverse that, or I can hit the Escape button and undo what I've selected. So let's drag over here. We'll hit Delete. There's still some stuff that I would want to clean up. So let's go to select. We'll go to rectangular selection. And let's just kind of get rid of some of this stuff. Delete. Rectangular selection or elliptical selection comes in handy if you want to just do a quick and dirty version to clean up your documents or your images. So and you think, you know, the more you play with it, the more comfortable you get with these tools and the more precise you become as well. So again, we're just doing quick and dirty versions to give you an idea of what's going on for working with your Mac. Instant Alpha, let's get rid of that O, let's get rid of that P, let's get rid of that E. You can spend more time to get it finessed out. Oh, there's a little funky something over there, so I'll go back. And we'll do rectangular select, and we'll just get rid of that. Bye-bye. All right, file, save as. Again, it doesn't matter about changing the name as much as making sure it's going to be saved as a PNG format with that alpha box checked. Hit save. And now that image has popped up over here. Insert into forebrain. Let's bring up Keynote again. And let's do a new one of those. Let's get rid of this. And let's change my math, my, math, my master to the title slide so we get a nice background for you. And push this over a little bit. Here we go. So this is the PNG file. And you can see we've been able to eliminate a lot of that background. And I've been able to grab this straight out of a graphic recording image. If I spend a little bit more time cleaning it up, I can finesse it into a much cleaner representation. But this will at least give you an idea of how you can use the instant alpha function of your Mac when you are previewing images to clean them up and convert them into PNG formats that you can then drag and drop into uh, Keynote documents, into um, word processing documents and convert them into PDFs, etc. All right, again, this is Janelle King with Big Picture Solutions. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at JanelleKing.com. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.